Craig here. In this video I'm going to be continuing on with the vacuum box for my tool mock. Okay, I got a sacrificial piece down below. The piece that I'm going to be uh, milling right here, I got it all clamped down. Uh, I trimmed it out within like 5 or 10 thou. Okay, I got my zero set on this corner here. In Fusion 360, I have it drawn up uh, using the fixed box size, basically allowing for a quarter of an inch extra stock all around. I'm just using a quarter inch high speed steel drill. I'm just using the same feeds and speeds as uh, if I was drilling into steel. So. Okay, I got the top piece of the box mounted up here. Uh, I was just gonna drill two holes to mount it to the pallet, but I think I'm just gonna drill all the all the perforated holes for the vacuum in it uh, right now. I'm not gonna use the same feeds and speeds as the uh, last holes I drilled, because that just take forever. So I went into G Wizard and um, not fine finish, but the finish uh, speed. It said. Uh, about 4,500 RPM. Uh, I, I round it off and 50 inches a minute, so. Okay, well I goofed. I actually forgot to set the zeros on uh, this piece before I started drilling this. So it was still on the same uh, zero as the, the last one, this one right here. So. Okay, well that definitely turned out uh, much better than the, the last one there. The holes are centered, so... Alright, well, it looks pretty good. Um, I just wanted to say, I was just reading through the comments, and I'd like to say I really appreciate all the, the comments you guys give me, and uh, I guess they were talking about... Um, they are talking about uh, vacuuming it. I wasn't sure I'd been able to, you know, vacuum uh, the dust with the equipment that I had. But, uh, you know, it's probably probably a good idea to at least try to get as much as you can. Especially with these holes, drilling holes like that. I was trying that towards the end to try and pick up as much of it as I can. And of course, you know, obviously having the, uh, the dust particles from uh, this MDF. I guess there's glue or something in it. Um, that's not good for your health. So, uh, I do usually try to put a... a respirator on as much as possible but you know sometimes you're trying to film something and it's hard to talk or something but I guess I should be uh, I should be better about doing that so okay I got my uh, pallet system re uh, remounted I got uh, the pallet that I'm gonna be using uh, for the vacuum box on there this will get uh, bolted down in here Okay, I'm all set to uh, drill and tap the holes to mount the vacuum box to the pallet. I got my uh, quarter 20 tap drill in here. I got the coat all loaded here.
Okay, now I'm going to do the tapping. Um, I put the, changed it to the lower belt to make sure I have enough torque, especially with how deep I'm uh, tapping here. This is a 770. Um, so put a little reminder there to let me remind me that I'm in low and made sure to change it on the uh, in path pilot here. So um, normally I, I tap in thin steel, uh, thinner steel, and I usually use uh, WD-40, but I'm not sure how that's going to work in this case. So I'm just going to be putting uh, tapping paste on before each before each hole, just to be sure. So. Okay, this is with the attention compression tapping head from Tormach using a quarter 20 spiral tap flute, uh, 400 RPM. I've got a video that I, where I showed the tapping and all the specifics on that. If you want to see that, I can uh, put one of those uh, things up on the top so you can go ahead and click that. Oh. Sweet. Okay, uh, now I'm going to uh, basically cut the, the top, the top part of the box to the uh, exact dimension. going to be using uh, 2D adaptive clearing uh, so it's going to go full depth of cut and then it's going to go in uh, what they call optimum load or basically the width of cut is uh, 150 thou. Okay, well, uh, here's what it looks like. It looks like there's maybe, I don't know, a thou or, or two of this stuff left on here. It just kind of flakes off here. Okay, now I'm going to take off the extra around here. I don't have a sacrificial plate underneath of it. Uh, I've got it bolted down the way it would normally be bolted once it's finished. Um, I've actually kept it up about 10,000 so I'm not uh, running right into the uh, aluminum here. I'm not sure what hitting aluminum is going to do to this um, this router bit here. So uh, same feeds and speeds as before. Okay, well this lip that it left looks like uh, looks like a little bit more than uh, than ten thou. It looks more like twenty thou. I'm gonna have to double check my uh, zeros and double check the height on this or something. Okay, I resolved the uh, pallet height issue in Fusion 360, and instead of going three thou higher, I went you know all the way down to the to the top of the pallet. And you can see it's like right on there. I can like take it off with my finger, so I'm almost perfect. So okay, last machining step until it's time to before it's time to glue it all together. I just have to make the uh, step in here.
Okay, there it is. I'll uh, probably just cut this off with the utility knife around here. And then, okay, time to put all the pieces together and see if they all fit. Yeah, put the back piece on. Two side pieces. And the front. And put the top on. Now the top is actually going to come on and off. I probably should have um, gone in maybe another five thou all the way around here to make it easier to take it on and off. Okay, well I really don't know a whole lot about this kind of uh, woodworking, finishing and this kind of thing, but um, I've done a little bit, but I know that I'm I want to make sure I have all the clamps figured out before I start gluing it. So I basically have two large ones clamping, basically clamping everything together. These two corners here, and then I have four, one on each corner, pushing the whole thing down. So I think I'm just going to leave this off for now. I'll, when it's all done, I'll see if it fits. If not, I'll just uh, put it back in the mill, I guess, and just take your hair off all the way around so Okay, well, these pieces, once you got glue in there, they definitely squirm around a lot. And, uh, so you gotta be mindful of that. And, uh, definitely gonna wanna make sure you have enough towels on hand. Because, uh, paper towels on hand, because you may need more than you think. Okay, well, I think that's probably about it. just uh, have to wait and uh, let it dry and then uh, put this on and test her out. Okay well I thought I'd just make a, a quick video or a quick snip of uh, what this thing can do before I move on to the next video. I'm gonna do this with uh, just a piece of aluminum actually. I may even be able to engrave and stuff and maybe uh, do a little light machining in aluminum, I don't know. Alright. As you see, it's got some uh, pretty good suction over there. And uh, even not totally being sealed. So, and this is just a, uh, a wood box, so, all right.